Hi. Today I'd like to walk you through our online class registration process. This will allow you to select your classes for next year. To get to this screen, first make sure you select class registration from the navigation pane on the left. Once there, scroll to the bottom of the page. There you will see that students are required to have eight credit hours, but that some are already assigned or requested by us. This is because certain courses are required for all students at this grade level, so we've gone ahead and signed you up. Now let's scroll back to the top. You will see in the instructions that some courses, instructions up here, that some courses are full year and some are only half year courses, like our electives classes. Please pay attention to this when selecting courses. As you look down the page, you'll see all the different course offerings for this grade level. The first area has required courses that have already been assigned for you. Click on the pencil icon on the top right for a listing of these courses. Note that the compu computer integration class is a half credit. It only lasts half a year while other courses are full year courses. SWAT doesn't count the same as a course selection, although students are assigned this class. These selections are also locked, so they can't be altered. You may select six courses. You have selected six courses. Okay, now let's look at math next. Course placement is based upon a recommendation by the student's current math teacher which is determined by looking at MAP scores, assessment grades, and class performance. Please see your math teacher should you have any questions. Again, click on the pencil icon to see the complete list. Notice the recommendation. Place a check in the appropriate box next to the course name. Note the exclamation point here as well. You may select one course, you have selected zero courses. As soon as you've made your selection, this now turns into a green check mark, and you can click OK. Once selected, you'll also notice that a course box appears here indicating your selection. Next we have service exploration. All students are expected to take one service learning class. However, they can choose which of the four options they prefer. Please take a moment to read each class description listed. Service only counts for half credit, which means they have it for half a year. Students also need to select an alternate, but before we do that, let's select our course. So we'll take Global Issues. I've selected my one course. I click OK. And here it is. I also need to select one service alternate in the event that it's not possible to schedule schedule me into my first choice. And this needs to be a different choice from my first one. So again, click the pencil icon. I've selected global issues. So now I'm going to select be the change. I've selected it. I click OK. And here is my alternate selection. The next choices really reflect student preference. At this point, students still require two additional full credits. You see at the bottom, I'm required to have eight. So far, I have six. Music and world languages both count as full year credits. All electives count as half credits. A student could take music and world language and be done. They could also take four different electives and be done, or music and two electives, or world language and two electives. There are many possibilities, so please take time to read the descriptions carefully. In this case, I will select a world language, which again is based upon teacher recommendations. Here it is. I select it and click OK. You'll also notice that in some cases there is more than one page of descriptions. To see a full list, don't forget to click Next to view the next page. Okay, I'm up to seven credits. Now I'm going to also select some electives. Descriptions for each elective are written next to them, but please note as well 
there are multiple pages, three pages in this case, for me to look through different electives. Because I've already selected a world language class, I now can only select two electives because they count for half credit each. That'll bring my total to eight credits. I'm going to click OK. Here they are. You can see that I have eight out of eight credits. Now, please note as well that I will also need to select some alternate classes. Alternate classes in the event that I'm not able to be scheduled into my first choices. And they need to be different from the ones I've already selected. Now, the one difference here is that you are able to select four different alternates. In fact, you must select four different alternates for this to work. You may select four courses. You have selected four. So these are the classes that will be assigned in the event that you're not able to get into one of these two classes. When you are finished making your selections, we click on Submit. Please note that our program of studies is available online through our school website and on PowerSchool, which will provide you with additional course descriptions. If you have any questions about the course or about this online process, please do not hesitate to contact us. Once you've submitted your requests, you'll see a complete list of your selections on this page. Thank you.